for Garrett. If not, we'll, I'll yeah. take it. <laughs> <laughs> Garrett is the, uh, the slot receiver position. Is that in good hands now at Jackson? Oh, yeah. I mean, Jackson, as good as i ever seen, probably the best i ever seen. So I ain't going to fake it. Jackson, the most natural athlete i ever seen. So, yeah, more than, more than straight. Where do you rank on that list? Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, you being like I am, I'm one of the people that I feel like I'm the best on the field every time. I, I saw Jackson for the first time, and, you know, I was like, okay. So, Jackson, I mean, he's everything in that, so that's for sure. What does uh, CJ bring to the quarterback you guys? Um, just the ability to spread the ball all around. You know, you can hit. There's not a throw on the field he can't make. And then, uh, you know, he's taking on a leadership role at an early, you know, he's only been here, you know, two years. So for him taking on the role like he has this offseason and this, you know, this fall camp, um, you know, it's been huge. So just seeing his development, his growth, you know, he knows it too that, you know, he's taken a huge couple of steps in these past couple months. So, um, you know, I can't wait to you know, see how he takes it on his first game starting. So. I know that you, you talked about in the spring that you thought all three of those guys could win and play at a high level quarterback. Is there a part, is there a time when you started feeling like it could be CJ? That, that could be the guy. Um, you know, CJ always had all the, you know, the throwing tools. And, um, I mean, it's always been like that. So just with him, I'd say the big thing with CJ was just, He's that leadership role, you know, you, we needed that with Justin, you know, last year, and we didn't need it. We had it with Justin last year, and then with him, you know, leaving, um, we needed someone to step in that role. So, you know, it's been huge, man. Garrett, what's, what's next for you? You played outside freshman year, slot this year. What, what do you do to kind of top those two years as you continue to build on your high school? Um, you know, my, my role this year is really just – it's, it's similar to my freshman uh, year role, just because I'm playing outside again. But I'm, I'm, I'm the first one taking the field, so um, I don't I don't know. Ask, ask that question again. I don't know if I answered that right. But just just how do you build on what you've accomplished already here as a, a yeah. third year guy, moving positions now a couple times? Uh, I mean, it's, this this year is about team success. So we, you know, we've obviously had that with you know the Big Ten championships and the, uh, the semifinal championship last year. But we want to take that next step and get to the get to the uh, national championship and bring it home. So. Um, you know, we felt like moving me outside and Jackson getting inside, you know, put all three of our best players on the field at the same time as far as receivers go. So, um, you know, my step is just playing my role and, you know, contributing to the team's success. Garrett, can you just speak on this room right now? I mean, a yeah. bunch of top 100 guys. Yeah, I mean, I ain't going to fake it. It's, it's probably not like this nowhere else. So it's, it's honestly ridiculous when you see Mecca and uh, Marvin and JB and what they can do. And we got dudes like Sam Wiggles, Sam Wiggles, who, who's a walk-on, and I mean he's he's as good as anyone in the country. So I mean it's really the deepest room you know, that I've I've seen. It's, even when I watched being a fan of college football growing up, you know, it's, I, don't, I don't think he gets like this often. So. And I don't want to like speak out of turn here, but this is not what it looked like when you first got there, or when Ryan Day came down to Texas to talk to you about. We're gonna throw the ball here. We're gonna do yeah. X, Y, and Z here. You were kind of the first one in the room to agree to come along. And they weren't really throwing the ball here. Yeah. But to see it actually pay exactly, off yeah. with what the, the room looks like, the way this offense exactly. kind of works. And you just speak on that. Is it gone the exact way that Ryan Bay maybe told you about? Yeah, see, that's a good point. Yeah, like you said, you know, that was why I wanted to come here because I always loved Ohio State. But the thing with me is that it would have fit the way I played. So, um, you know, seeing Coach Day take on that, that OC position all them years ago and just the way that yeah, it transformed since Dwayne got here, you know, that was something I wanted to be a part of. And then he's done everything he uh you know, said it was going to be, he's delivered on everything he said it was going to be. So, um, I mean, we got the receivers to be able to throw the ball all game and, you know, keep everyone fresh. And then we got the QBs to do it and the play caller to do it. So, I mean, it, it's a lot of fun to be a part of this offense. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can keep making plays even when the elements, you know, come into it. That's the one thing, being up, uh, being up north. But, you know. You lived up here. Man. Yeah, I lived up here. But, you know, you don't ever get used to that. Because I ain't used to the heat either. Yesterday was with my you know, thing. So. It's got fun to do yeah, see, I like, you know, Syracuse and stuff like that. I, I should have looked into that a little more. <laughs> you I should have looked into Syracuse. that carrier dome or something. UTSA or something. Oh, nice to What are the limits? What are the limits of this offense this year from what you see? And how, when you look around the room in the offensive room, this is this talent that we've up here. Is anybody in the country How do y'all keep your gears humility and keep your head down? Because you know what you're going to get. Yeah, I mean, just all because we, we all know we can learn so much from each other and that. You know, someone messing up. I mean, we're all, you know, some of the top players at our position, like you said. And someone messing up, you know, that's really pushing their boundaries. You know, it's not, 
that's how you get better is, you know, being uncomfortable. Um, and, you know, I think we've done a great job, you know, especially this off season and this, this summer, just pushing each other, making sure we keep it fun out of practice, but also like, you know, we, we know that we got to get better too. We're not at the, the top of it, you know, it's not, it's not like we've reached our potential, you know what I mean? So just making sure that we all push each other. And I think it's great having the new dudes come in. I mean, especially Marvin, just the way he worked. And, you know, he put it in our room that, you know, this is how, you know, we, we do things. I mean, Marvin would out, be out there, you know, working by himself to 6 p.m., 8 p.m. You know, people saw you, you know, you take notice. You're like, I want to do that too, you know what I mean? So, um, you know, it's just, we just done a great job pushing each other outside. Yeah, and I'm, I'm talking even more is the offense as a whole. If you look around the offensive room, the depth of them, the offensive line, you know, yeah. our quarterback is the elite level MVP, yeah. you know, uh, definitely running back and stuff. Do you feel like you're part of something special? What do you look Oh, for? I mean, definitely. No, definitely feel like I'm part of something special. So now it's just about putting it together, you know. Um, we, I mean, we got all the talent in the world, but it's Ohio State, so, you know, we, we expect that. And now it's about, you know, turning that talent into a championship and bringing it back to Columbus. So, I mean, that's always what it's been, been about, but, um, you know, it's – some different issues. What do you think this offense will be about in the final, in the final analysis? What do you think y'all will do? Where will y'all leave your mark? Um, I mean, I, we want to be the best offense in the country, and that sounds cliche, but you know, we want to be the best offense in the country, you know, put up the most points all time. I mean, super balanced, you know, and the way the running backs are running the ball, you know, you can't, you can't not run it. I mean, they're too good. So, um, as far as where we want to be, I mean, we want to do whatever it takes to win the championship, but I think you know a lot of that comes with the success in the championship. So you know it'll all take care of itself, but we think we can do the best we can. How are you and the receivers? Yeah, I mean just reps, you know. So it was it's been hard to get reps, you know, with the with the competition going on. But this last week we've been uh you know trying to clean up on time and get those reps against you know good DBs and. Um, it's really been helping with the time. And so CJ's a big person on, you know, get the reps. And once you get the reps, you're not going to mess it up again. So, um, I mean, once he has to throw, you know, he gets your steps down and sees how you run the route, you know, he, he puts it right there on you. So. Yeah, I mentioned you can make all the throws. Is, is there something he does that's different than Justin's? It's similar? Like, how does, how does, it, how does it, like, going from one quarterback to yeah. quarterback? Um, I'd say that's different from John. I mean, they're very different. I mean, it's hard. They're very different. So. I mean, Justin had that running threat, and CJ does too, but it's just different. You know, he, he's a stay in the pocket type of, you know, he's a pocket passing quarterback. I would say I don't, I don't want to offend him. I don't know if that's offensive or something. You know, but, I mean, that boy can sling it for real. So he's a, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. They're very different, but I would say he's more of a in the pocket quarterback, you know, um, sit in there is what I would say the main difference. Well, I guess Justin did something before we do with the move outside the pocket and stuff like that. Yes, I mean, it's, yeah, it's definitely different, you know, the scramble drills and stuff like that. It's, it hasn't been as much as, you know, we're uh, we're used to the last two years. I mean, since I've been here, it's only been Justin, you know, the quarterback. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's been it's definitely been different. So, Garrett, I heard you compare uh, CJ to Russell Wilson when you were on Big Ten Network. Can you just kind of like, explain, like, how that comparison came about? That comparison came about because Russell Wilson threw the best deep ball to me, him or Aaron Rodgers. And, um, just the way the ball, the ball lands, like falls on a receiver, it makes it so you can play, you can choose how to play those type of balls. So you can either let it fall over your shoulder or go up in high point, depending on what feels more comfortable, what, what feels like you, gives you the best chance to make the play. And I um, mean, that's one thing that as a receiver, you know, you love you love having someone that drops the ball on you versus, versus you know, not being able to react as much. So um, that's why I did that comparison to Russell Wilson, just because the way Russell Wilson, I mean, to give you a play, I'm thinking of when he threw that ball to DK Metcalf on Stephon, Gil Stephon Gilmore, I mean, it literally fell. And you can't, if you're a DB, you can't really make a play on that. So, so, so as a receiver, like, you feel like if he's throwing you the deep ball, you like know where it's going to be. Yeah, but also I just know and the way he throws it is just like he always gives you a chance is the best way to put it. Sometimes, you know, a deep pass can be hard to react to if it's on the line, you know what I mean? So just the fact that the ball falls on you gives you a better chance to make the catch better, easier to react to, stuff like that. So, um, it's the best way to put it. Garrett, you mentioned Marvin being out until 8 o'clock. Yeah. Is that, do you, do you see that coming from growing up with the son of a Hall of Famer? Is that where that stuff comes from? How yeah. How much does that impact the rest of you? I mean, that can go both ways, you know, it's when someone, you know, grows up like that. But Marvin, you know, he, he's something in him, he's different. So, um, I mean, he just, he just wants to work. He wants to get better every day. And he's, I mean, he's already as good as, you know, as good as I see it at that age, too. So, um, 
I mean, Marvin's going to be so special. I know with me, it's, it's something different because I, I really respect the way he works. So from the day he came in here, I really respect and took notice of how he worked and it, you know, really inspired me to, you know, just take something different this year. So, um, I mean, yeah, definitely, I mean, his dad, he had to do it. I've actually met his dad out multiple times, and, yeah, I can see this, his dad was different, too. The way they, you know, they were just, it was, I don't know how to put it, but, I mean, it's something special right there. Garrett, thank you very much. I appreciate y'all. Y'all take care.